My Beautiful Broken Brain, a documentary about an individual having aphasia. If you really want to know what it is, just a small percentage of how it feels to have aphasia, you want to check out this video. Welcome to Beyond Boundaries, Stroke Survivor and Caregiver Complete Guide on the Road to Recovery. My name is Jeffrey and I will be guiding you in this video today. If you're a returning member of our audience, welcome back. I appreciate your support. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button down below so that you'll be notified of future videos. Also, if you, need any, if you want to leave any comments down, any comments about the video or anything else, please leave them down in the description. Uh, or also go to my uh, social media, it's also linked down in the description. Uh, this video uh, is going to be about um, a video that I uh, recently uh, saw on Netflix. Uh, it's called My Beautiful Broken Brain. Uh, it's, by, it's a 2014 documentary on, uh, on stroke and also the effects of it, including mostly uh, aphasia, uh, has on an individual and how it is a devastating side effect from a stroke. Um, the directors are Lotjay, L-O-T-J-E, Soderland, and Sophia Robinson. Actually, the person who has uh, aphasia in the video is the one that also is the director uh, and also along with uh, another individual. Uh, it's from the United Kingdom. That's where the person lived and Loche lived. And, uh, and you can see this on Netflix. It's actually on Netflix right now. Just go up to, uh, just put in My Beautiful Broken Brain and you can uh, check it out. I would check it out. It's a pretty, uh, 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 it hits you hard. Uh, and just to let you know, uh, you know, my wife has aphasia and uh, Loche's aphasia is by no means not even severe. Uh, as, you know, every, it's all severe, but hers, she can still talk, like have a conversation with somebody. Uh, my wife couldn't, can, couldn't ha uh, talk no more. Uh, so my wife had the severest of aphasia. Uh, Loche had, you know, a moderate aphasia and you still, it's still devastating, even with moderate. So think about how my wife had felt with having uh, severe aphasia. I mean, uh, as you, the video, is, I mean, I already know everything about aphasia and it's still hitting me hard. So if you're watching it, it's gonna, it's gonna be eye-opening. Like, you, you, I'm just, uh, it, it makes you uh, not take for granted things that you take for granted every day. Uh, like just speaking, uh, breathing, uh, being able to comprehend, have a conversation, talk to your family, friends. Uh, all that is taken for granted. and. Just watch this video and I'm telling you, it's gonna have a, give it, give it, give a different perspective and give a different view about life and, and priorities uh, in your life. Uh, another, another quote from Loche is, I feel like a baby, but I'm all grown up. Meaning I just, I, I've, I'm back to square one. You, you can't read, write, uh, comprehend anything. Uh, it's, it's pretty bad and she used to before before the stroke, very social and empowered. She was, she had a tough job of like uh, directing, like she was mostly with movies and film and like that. So she had a multitask all the time. She had to use, she used to write films for her job. Uh, she had to read and write a lot in her work. She used to read a lot, read lots of books before the stroke. So she was, she knew all this. She had everything. She was very comprehensive. She was working uh, a, a very difficult job, reading everything, writing films, like doing everything, and and the stroke, and nothing. You, uh, uh, just think about that. This, I, I can I do everything like that, and nothing. Just think that, and like that, and a snap. Just think about that. Just think about that for a second. I, I, I really, uh, I mean, people just like, Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. That's I that sucks. Aphasia. Oh, so I sucked. I'm sorry. A stroke. But really, think about it for a second. Think about it. 
and take your time and, and put yourself in the shoes of the other person for a second. Uh, very difficult for other people, like family or friends, to understand what it feels like to have aphasia and damage to the brain. Exactly. It's very difficult, almost impossible. People don't understand. They just don't understand. And they get scared, so they just don't call, go come around because they don't know how to. Uh, uh, they're afraid. They're afraid themselves. Uh, they're afraid to come over. They're afraid to talk because they feel like. They don't know what to say, what to do, and that is a, a problem that uh, uh, you have to overcome because uh, just you calling or coming over is all they ever want. They, they, they're not, they don't care if you don't say a word, just you being there is what they want. So that's something that people have to understand too. She said, quote, reminds me when I had woke up and it felt like nobody could hear me and I was invisible. How terrifying is that? Exactly. You just, nobody hears you. You can't talk, you can't read, you can't express yourself, you can't understand, you feel invisible, uh, you can't feel like you can't uh, do anything. Uh, it's, it's, it's devastating, it's terrifying. The quote from her is uncomfortable reality, meaning it's very, her reality is now and it's very uncomfortable and she can't get out of this, this, this thing that's holding her back, this aphasia that's holding her back is so uh, like confining and, and, and it's hard to get out. It's hard to break those uh, chains to, to come out and overcome it. Another quote from her, I am different than I was and maybe I'm never gonna be the same. Uh, that's just maybe a reality sometimes, but you always wanna have hope that you, you can go forward and do things become uh, closer to your old self and, uh, and try to get back to where you were. Uh, another quote from her is, she feels like a stranger. Exactly, you feel like, like nobody like really knows you or knows what you're going through. Uh, another, another quote from her, and I need to be comfortable with the unsubtle differences between who I was before and who I am now. Uh, so she's trying to understand that um, you know, maybe she's going to have these things that uh, some of them you can't overcome and you're going to have to live with them. But, and, but you have to, uh, I guess, adapt and become a new person uh, with these limitations. But uh, you still can live life to a normal, as normal as possible, even with these limitations that you have. Uh, it's going to give you a lot of quotes right now. Just the experience of continually being defined by what you can no longer do or how uh, this sort of limitations becomes, I think is devastating. So it's just everything that you put, everything is uh, based on what you can't do or your limitations. That's how you're looked at. That's how you're treated. Uh, and it gets to you after a while. It's going to be devastating for your, your mental, just your overall, uh, way uh, life living life uh, it can be a very heavy burden on you if people just everybody just keep looking at you for what you don't have or what you are limited with uh, it can be very uh, uh, disheartening um, find the things you can do good or are getting better at and focus in on that so focus in on the good uh, what you're getting better at and not the things that uh, uh, you seem to not be able to overcome, but folks, things that you're getting better at. Uh, another quote, I learned that I am strong, but I also accepted my vulnerability. Exactly. So you're still strong, but you're still vulnerable because you still have things that are, that remind you of the stroke, uh, your limitations or anything that, uh, uh, because of the stroke that you can't do no more. But you are, you have to realize you are, uh, you know, so you have those things, but, but, you are strong and you can get past this and you can live a normal life. Uh, I've learned to focus only on what matters. It just takes a very long time to get used to a new brain. Exactly. So uh, you focus in on anything that matters that's going to help you in your life. Uh, forget all the negative, push it aside and put all the positive uh, with you and forward. 
and also learn to live with who you are. Uh, be comfortable in your own skin, as they say, um, because uh, without it, it's going to be a fight. You're going to keep fighting yourself. You got to learn to keep going, keep trying to get better at whatever you can, but learn to live with what you have and make it the best possible situation you can. I don't need to return to my old life. Exactly. This is your new life. You have to say, forget the old life, forget whatever else. This is me. This is what I am now. This is who I'm, uh, I, this is who I want to be because I have, uh, I am, I am, I have made so much progress. I have gained so much knowledge and I can live my life as I am now. And I don't care if there's some limitations. Uh, that's for, if people have a problem with that, that's, that's, that's their problem. I'm living my life. This is my life. This is my new life. And I'm going to make the best out of it. This is a new existence, a new dynamic where I wasn't defined by my limitations, but rather about endless possibilities. It's not your limitations. It's about what you can achieve, what you, how you improve each and every day. You keep going. Do not focus in on your stuff that you can't do. Focus in on stuff you can do and then keep going up. We don't really know the answers, but what I can say in the second of existence, reality is only what we believe and perceive to be true. It's all, it's all with you. It's all in what you believe, how you feeling, how you think you're progressing. It's not about other people. Um, you can, other people can say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, you only 50% of this, only 75% of this, only 80% of this. No, uh, everybody's got an opinion. It's all about you. It's what you believe. It's what you perceive. It's, it's, it's everything. That's what it is. It, you have to understand that uh, you always, people are going to look at you different and it's never going to be the same, but you have to be comfortable with who you are now and you have to know that you have made so much progress and you are here and you have endless opportunity to improve each and every day it never stops improvement never stops you have to keep going uh, at some point you want to open this up and read this again and, and forget aphasia but uh it's going to take time but you can't rely on other people uh to make you happy to you know to define who you are you can't you have to define yourself and that is what's important check this movie out um i'm gonna give you uh one last thing i just i just want you to feel for 30 seconds i'm gonna check this out no actually one minute and we're gonna sit here quiet and nothing and that is what aphasia is you can't talk you can't speak you're stuck and this is what it is quiet i'm gonna start it when the clock hits now Okay, that is what it's like. That's just one minute. One minute. And a person like my wife or someone has to live with that 24 hours, seven days a week. One minute. One minute. And people have to live, like uh, on the film, Loche, my wife, every day, every second, every minute, 24-7. That's what it's like. I mean, I, I, 
I, I, I can't, like, you want people to, to know, understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. This is, it's, it's brutal, okay? It's brutal. How, just think about it. You can't talk to nobody. You can't read. You can't write. You can't read. You can't write. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. It's brutal. It's aphasia. It's brutal. I compare it to uh, Alzheimer's. That's another horrible disease. Horrible. Aphasia is, is almost it's pretty bad. That's how bad it is. And recovery, slow. Slow. And it eats at you. And you become depressed. You become angry. It's, and it's just... Uh, and people sit there and like, and like, oh, feel sad for you, but they don't really understand. They don't understand. Uh, they don't know what to do. So they uh, just stay away. And that has this effect too. And it's a shame. And I hope this, uh, I hope everybody watches this video. It really, it's just, think about the video. That is only, that's like, 25% of what my wife has. So think about that. So you just watch the 25% of the effects of what my wife has. She has like 99% of aphasia. Uh, Loche has, you know, a good amount, but not, you know, I'll just let you know the differences. So, but watch this video. It's, it's an eye opener. It's uh, almost like a sledgehammer because you will understand just a little bit of the... Uh, I just, uh, I, I think I'm done. I, I don't know what I, uh, getting worked up. So I think I'm about done and I uh, hope this video has uh, helped, uh, helped you. I hope you go watch the video because it's gonna really understand what people with aphasia and people who had strokes go through. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit the like and subscribe button for my channel if you haven't already. And also, please watch and enjoy more videos from my channel. God bless America. God bless all law enforcement to keep them safe. And God bless all military to keep them safe. Thank you.